Uh, so Agneta Sundberg has, is my guest and has a wealth of information about many aspects of health. But today we're going to be talking about one of my very favorite ones, which is essential oils. Um, I have loved essential oils for decades and I've used them for decades for different reasons. But uh, it was only through Agneta's training and help, actually, she actually helped coach me through a lot of this, that I've begun to understand in a much better way what um, they can do on so many levels and how they affect us physically, psychologically, emotionally, especially now. So first of all, I want to welcome you all, but I want to especially welcome our special guest, Agneta Sundberg. Hi, Agneta. Hi, thank you so much, Andrea. It's always great to, um, to be here with you. And I don't know you guys up here in the little window that I can see. I'm going to put you on the screen in one moment. And, um, but let me start with the very first question. Then. Uh, before, actually, before we start with the questions, because you teach uh, yoga um, and because breath is such a crucial part of any good exercise program, but particularly for yoga, I would love it if you would guide us through some kind of a, uh, a you, you talked about breathing, breathing technique. So let me put you on the video and see what you can do for us today. Great idea. That, that would be one of my favorite ways. Um, I'm scooting forward and encouraging all of you just to scoot into a comfortable position where you can let your feet be on the ground firmly and, and relax your shoulders and even do a little kind of silly, just kind of oh, let, your, let yourself, yeah, I like that, standing up and really, you got it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. That is the way to, um, to literally to embody. And when we then bring in the breath and from a place of feeling grounded, we start to really connect with ourselves. And that's where our power is. That's where our intuition resides. And if we, from there, invite another layer, like the nature of um, intelligence in, in, in uh, the form of essential oils, like Andrea mentioned, that is just one more piece that we will talk about more later and Wonderful. get into that we can uh, embody and feel more present. And especially around times like now, when there's so much going on. So without further ado, once you feel like you kind of scrub yourself in and feel landed, so to speak, embodied, close your eyes just lightly and continue to allow yourself to feel that you notice and sense how your skin is on your body, how the shoulders are dropping just naturally through gravity away from your ears and how you feel the soles of your feet on the ground. And from there, just gently let your hands land somewhere below your navel so that maybe even your, your hands can rest on the edges of them and your lap on your thighs and let your hands just cupped one on top of the other. Hold your belly, so to speak. And in this case, it's almost a competition of who can have the biggest belly, who can let the belly be like that Buddha belly, ballooning a little bit into your hands. That helps to release the lower back and to really inflate the belly, kind of like we used to be when we were babies, when it actually was a real good, healthy structure and shape of the belly. So we're gonna breathe in just a simple technique, augmenting that sensation by having the hands here. And as you let your body continue to relax, just take a nice soft inhale through the nose if that feels comfortable. And a long, slow exhalation. And yes, once more together like that a soft, easy, gentle, like you're inviting yourself to be even more present and notice what's going on in that inner landscape without any agenda. And this time when you exhale, 
making the exhale a little bit longer, at least than your in intention, and let the shoulders and the corners of your mouth, like the edges, your jawline there on both sides, drop and relax and release almost to the point that you feel that with that exhale, your tongue is settling away from the roof of the mouth. So there becomes more space there at the, in the upper palate, space between the upper palate and the base of your tongue. And that in itself, as we continue to breathing in and out, will begin to calm the mind. The body speaks to the mind. And when we allow the breath in, if we're using some additional tools to do so, the mind starts to quiet down, take more and more of a back seat. And just a few more breaths together that way, soft, gentle, easy, inhale through the nose, even holding it there at the top of the inhale. So the whole area of the lungs can expand. And then when you're ready to exhale, see what it feels like to exhale through the nose. That doesn't feel comfortable. Just go ahead and exhale through your mouth. I'll let it, everything soften and melt as the mind, as the brain follows along. And when you're ready, sensing your feet on the ground, letting an inhale inflate your belly a little more, and maybe explore holding that very top of the inhale ever so briefly so that the whole respiratory system, all the organs in the inner body can expand a little more before you let the air out. And when you're ready to invite another inhale, let it just be easy, soft, welcoming. You're welcoming yourself home into the body. And when you held it a little bit at the top, letting everything that you don't need at this moment doesn't have to be anything present, but just allow your exhale to release anything that you don't need right now. And on that note, just another few deep breath in, hold, and let whatever happen this morning that's not needed in this moment drop along with the shoulders and your jaw and one more last focus breath like this and this time even exaggerate a little bit more to let the inhale expand your belly so much that the breath even travels up and through the diaphragm into the heart, up toward the top of the rib cage. And when you feel really full and expansive, let the exhale with a big ha ah, come out. We gotta do one more deep breath in. And one, two, three, exhale. Ah. And then softly let your eyes open, but just without focus. Open them just a little bit and let them be in that kind of daisy place, like when we wake up in the morning. Take a little more light in. And then when you feel ready, open them up all the way. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> okay, so let me just get back in here. Well, that was pretty wonderful. <laughs> uh, all right.
back into my earth. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. It was really beautiful. So we're going to go into the, I have some questions for you today. Um, the first one is, um, between the pandemic and all of us have been shut down, uh, locked up, and a lot of my friends are very concerned about the national drama on both sides of the political aisle. And so they're telling me that they're on edge in one way or another. So let's discuss the benefit of just a general idea of the benefit of using essential oils to maintain balance and to stay calm during turbulent times or times of challenge. Good, good point. We, we did begin with one of the easiest ways to get into our body and to start to soften and be more receptive for what we really need. And everything is happening up in our mind when we get um, fearful and when there's so many challenges outside of ourselves that's going on that we can't control. So bringing ourselves back through focusing on the breath is helped when we um, use some of our essential oils. And if you don't have an essential oil, don't worry about it. Um, just um, grab something that is a reminder for you um, of, of coming, coming back home that is reassuring. So I will, I will choose a couple of oils and I'm just going to imagine that you guys are completely new to essential oils. I certainly know you're not, Andrea. I'm picking Serenity. Serenity is a, a blend of oils that is just speaking for itself. The name says it all, and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy oil blend to fall in love with and to feel more serene, more at home. And on that note, and inviting something new, I would just take the bottle and bring a drop or two in my hand, palm on my hand, and rub my hands together. So you can just do this with me, regardless of what you have in your hands. A good time to um, imagine, use, use our creativity. And even here, when I open the palms of my hands, since the oils are volatile by nature, I start to sense something that is a welcoming so that I really want to bring my hands closer to my nose. Then I can close my eyes and kind of cup my hands around my nose and take a few breaths just like we did, in and out through the nose. So here what happens is that the this is coming in through the nose and into our brain and especially kind of bypassing, even though it has to physically go through our all parts of our brain, but into the limbic brain, into the part where our, our fight or flight lives. So there, that's where we are usually most affected by our deep breath and by an oil. So even taking a few deep breaths, you begin to realize, oh, okay, there is something that the body by nature is used to recognizing as, oh, I'm okay, I'm here. And that can sound like, how could that be when there's so much going on? The stuff is still going on, but we're just again coming home to ourselves. And from that place, we can begin to have more um, control over our thoughts. Again, the body is talking, speaking to the mind, but our job is to take control and listen to the mind in that way that we are meant to be living and not be controlled with the mind. The mind is fantastic. It does a tremendous job, but it's not, it's not um, made to run the show. We are more in our heart and in our body. We are capable to run the show and we make better decisions for ourselves. And when we get together like this, we have an effect on each other. Just the fact that we sat down and started breathing together, there's a coherence there and we need more of that. And we women are so good at stepping into that role of, of kind of the goddess within you. We all have that capacity. 
So that is serenity and in an oil, the most um, uh, foot forward oil here is lavender that almost all of us uh, recognize in some capacity, even having in the garden or have that experience of rubbing our hands on a flower and taking a few breaths in there. You know, I want, I wanted, um, I just did that. And I have serenity going in my diffuser right now. Oh. Um, and I really love it. But um, I want, I, I, as I said, I've, I've used essential oils for decades. But I, uh, we're both showing these doTERRA oils. And I have several friends who, before I even started using them, um, I didn't know they were also using the doTERRA brand. I would love you to give a real quick explanation uh, about the purity of, of these oils and the company and the testing that they do. Because one of the things that's been absolutely crucial to me is that when I recommend something, uh, whether it's a skincare product or especially something like this or something to eat, I have to make sure that I'm not encouraging people to use anything that has any toxic element in it. So can you talk a little bit about the testing that they do on these oils? Thank you for bringing that up. I would, I would just ditto what you, um, what you say. I need, to, I need to walk my talk. I'm using everything myself and for my um, two daughters and, and my husband and friends. And, and I, I need to kind of know that it is uh, working and is safe. So what I love about doTERRA, apart from that the, the products, the oils are pure, it's their real focus on the purity. And I can actually take an oil like lavender and there's a little um, SKU number on this. And there's a link on, um, that you can easily access and put the number in here and see the testing results. There are eight tests that the first one is um, from, from the beginning of the process of producing the oil all the way until it's bottled and, and shipped out to whoever is gonna benefit from it. And that I think is, is a really um, great way to, to be able to notice. And there are third party laboratories that are used. So having something that is even beyond organic, as much as I love organic and, and use that uh, in food, etc., it is, only showing that the soil is organic and tested, but then what happens from wherever my lettuce, right. you know, it's taken, put on a truck and, and uh, handled. So you wanna have something that is even beyond that. And I think that's where we're moving. And last but not least, I have to throw that in because I think that it's uh, super important in how we do business and how we choose what to put in our body and on our um, skin and use around the home is doTERRA's involvement in uh, the uh, countries and the, with the farmers where the oils are sourced from. There's a real kind of circular way of interacting so that instead of kind of the often handout, it's a um, listening to the deep knowledge of, of these artisans that have been doing this for a long time and supporting with Western know-how and information and chemistry, et cetera, and having those two parts meet so that there's a real fostering of um, the communities growing and expanding and thriving. So that, that's kind of the, the circle that I, that I see that is more in responsible, um, um, you know, the responsible way of doing business and for us as consumers as well. So in other words, growing and expanding. There's um, schools and healthcare clinics and that kind of thing so that you can really see that there's a, there's a mutual respect there of listening. Like we could do all, when, we, when, when Andrea, when you talked about the, the current kind of political system, when we listen to each other, we start to realize that, hey, Lori, you and I, we, we think the same, even when we have a different of opinion about something, there is that human, oh, I heard what Gloria say. I actually haven't thought of that. That's pretty cool. Mm. Just that little opening that I feel like these bottles, they can bring us closer into uh, 
benefiting in that way. And, and that's just such a sweet thing. So that was probably a little longer, but it was kind of what my heart felt like sharing at this, at this time. Right. I cut, I'm sorry, I cut away for a second. I think that's such a crucial, important point. So, so important right now. Um, and, and it's important, especially as we're going in the flu season and they, they're telling us that the, that the COVID infections have gone up. I know that stress depletes us right? It depletes our immune system. It affects our immune systems. So um, uh, I, I absolutely love the breathe that helps me calm down. There are other things I love using too. Um, before I go to bed at night, sometimes, well, we'll talk about that because I'm going to ask about sleep later. But I know that there are some essential oils that can actually help us um, support our immune system. So can you talk a little bit about that too? The, the oils that support the immune system are, uh, we can take, uh, getting back to what we just talked about as, as it pertains to doTERRA, all the oils that can be used internally, which is obviously a really great way to um, support the immune system, they have a supplemental fact on the bottle. So those oils can be ingested they can be, some of them can be put directly under the tongue or put in a little veggie capsule. Um, the little, I'm sure you, you all um, know these little capsules that you just pull apart. You put, in this case, X amount of drops of oils and you swallow them with water. So that is a, that's a great way. And you mentioned having a diffuser of choice with you have serenity and on guard it's just like the name on guard is, is speaking for itself. That is a combination of oils that is super helpful and great, um, killing toxins overall and pathogens that we don't want to have in the air and certainly not inside of us. Using that in a diffuser on the hands and it comes uh, even in a sanitizing spray that is um, more healthy than many of them that are out there on the market. And you can actually use the oil, and it comes in capsules already, um, to take and ingest. So those three ways with just one of the many, oregano oil in combination with um, melaleuca and frankincense is another combination that we can make. But if we keep it, keep it really simple. If you, want, if you want to just leave with a couple of thoughts to kind of play around with or talk to Andrea more about, I would say, remember on guard, being on guard, being ready and prepared. That's a super um, great oil to have, to have handy. Um, just, that's fantastic. One of our uh, viewers, uh, Sandra wants to know, the Serenity Blend, do you know which specific oils are in that one? So it is in Serenity is um, lavender is the uh, first one. And just to be sure, because there are quite a few, I'm going to look in my little note. Cedarwood, Howood, Lang Lang, Marjoram, Roman Chamomile, and last but not least, actually there's a, a few more, is Vetiver, one of my super um, wow. love oils. And then Hawaiian Sandalwood. There's Indian and in this particular one because of a little sweeter note, they have Hawaiian sandalwood. So these oils are put together synergistically so that they uh, reinforce, if you will, each other and make something that's already good, like lavender is a, is a great oil, but when you add other notes, they complement each other and, and it really gives a broader spectrum of that synergy that they can create. Just like when we ladies get together and we can move mountains sometimes somewhere we communicate. It, it's kind of on that, on that uh, sense. It's, it's just really um, amazing when we look into nature where we can learn so much. And I think that um, doing it through the oils and notice how we are affected is rewarding in so many ways. We can learn so much about ourselves. This, this is so true. Um, I, I, I like the individual oils, but the combination I find is just sort of like a 
quick thing that just gets me right there because other people that have done better research than I have are on this. I should put this. Um, the last time I talked with Agnet, I was talking to her about um, where the emotional effects that we have show up in our body. And I know that lungs, uh, because I studied some of Chinese medicine when I was becoming an acupressure practitioner, and I know that lungs have to do with grief. And so uh, she recommended this book to me. And I, uh, you can get it on Amazon, but I, I'm trying to encourage people to to go to, to their local stores or to other sources rather than going to Amazon all the time because they get enough of our money. But this, I, I love this wonderful book and it is called um, Essential Emotions. And it's just, it's so chock full. It's got every kind of situation you might think of and what oils would be good for it. And then it has the oil blends that we've just been talking about. And you can get it at EssentialEmotions.com. So that's one thing to think about. Um, we have about 10 more minutes left. I wanted to ask you, Agneta, also about sleep, because I know that sleep is such a crucial part of wellness and, real, and not feeling anxiety. If we haven't had enough sleep or deep or good sleep, then it, it really affects the way we react and act in the world. So what can you tell us, which specific oils can you recommend for better sleep? Or are there any other uh, supplements? Because I know that doTERRA also has some very interesting supplements. The supplements, I think it will be great if we get back to because they deserve a little more um, embroidering and, and um, speaking into why, why, would these, um, or why would these supplements be um, something to invite into my life. So good, good one, but let's um, stick with, um, with the oils for today and for our time. Serenity is actually fantastic to, um, to have in the evening routine. An evening routine, uh, con considering a ritual, setting up a ritual for ourselves is uh, something that I see more and more in, uh, in the um, women that I work with, primarily women, as something that creates meaning, something that we do, and we don't have to be regimented, we don't have to do the same every evening, but to have a routine of slowly inviting ourselves to relax and to let go and to receive. That is the key in that order, relaxing and opening up to receive, to receive the nourishment of sleep and letting go. And again, letting the body soften. So using your favorite all, let's say that that's gonna be serenity, like you have in your diffuser, Andrea, next to the bed, close to the bed. I like to get this as close as I can. Past tense is an oil that can help that sequence of event happen a little easier. This particular one comes in a roller bottle. I sit in front of the computer a little too much and many of us do these days, right? So imagine coming a little closer, rolling this up to um, my neck on both sides and kind of behind right at the uh, crease where the head and the neck and the skull meet. Rub it in. And this is a really helping tool to melt any tension. And for anyone that has headaches during the day, it's another super handy, um, helpful oil combination blend for, for headaches. Balance, a portal that I haven't mentioned. I love to give them my feet some extra love. So taking a couple of drops and rubbing on the soles of the feet and maybe adding a, a couple of drops of a really clean cream or my favorite is coconut oil, even the raw, pure coconut oil. The feet, they, they'd really love it. Balance is one of um, my great to go to oils for, for the feet in particular. And last, I think if I know what, I'm gonna pick two, peace. Peace comes in a roller or, I mean, the name says it all. I don't have to add anything. Another oil blend 
in a series of oils that are for the emotional aspects with oils like passion, console, motivate, um, joy. But if I have to pick one, one of the up notes in this is vetiver, which is super grounding and, and uh, calming. A grass from Haiti. And I will say last again, but not least, adaptive. And adaptive, the word is perfect. It, it's, um, it acts like an invitation to adapt to. Okay, in this case, I'm segueing down to calm and to go to bed. If being out and about having to, I often put um, a couple of drops. Adaptive is a favorite on my mask when I go into a store and need to. It, it makes it easier for me to, to, to use the, you know, the mask and feel okay with that. What right. was the, what was the time? So I'm, I'm, I'm letting you get the word back, Andrea. You know, um, yeah, I, would you say the name again of the roll-on one that you mentioned? It's past tense. Past tense. Yep. Okay. Headaches, tension overall, and that um, we often carry through the day. So in the evening, past tense is, um, is a good one. Great. So we have about four minutes left. If any of you, let me just, let me just if any of you have another question or um, a question for how to get these, if you would, if you're interested in learning more about them, um, please send me an email and I'll send you my link because doTERRA has a huge amounts of knowledge and information on their website and research. I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing the amount of research that they have on their site. And I would appreciate it if you go through my, my link, but also Agneta does um, individual consultations for people and you can reach her at, um, let me see, let me get your, I, I'm going to tell us your, your contact information if somebody wants to find out what they might. I mean, you have my first name, and I actually, I'll type it in here in the, um, because I have one of those little bit unusual names um, coming, coming from Sweden, Agneta at lifeandwellness.co, right. A-G-N-E-T-A at lifeandwellness.co. Okay, that's great. And the answer to the other question is yes. You put a few drops of oil directly into the diffuser. Um, you could put as much as six. Sometimes I don't really need to use that many, but it has. And the type of diffuser, you can use many types. I've used heat diffusers in the past, but the more pure these oils are, let me just get, I'll highlight this. Um, the more, because these oils are so pure, they are volatile. And so if you put them on heat, they're going to evaporate very quickly. The diffuser that I use which is exactly like the one um, Agneta showed. They have it on the doTERRA website. And, um, and there's Agneta's email address. I'll put mine up too. But um, I like this, this diffuser because it's not heat generated. So it doesn't destroy the molecules of the, of the, of the oils, the essential oils. So that's it. Let me just. Um, yes, just... Yeah. Um, can I put in? I I um, typed in here source to you dot com. So if you if if I would recommend you look at something that I love that website. It gives a lot of science. It gives a lot of information. But it's totally easy to uh, with little videos and yeah, it's a cool one that I think you 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 will all appreciate. So that's source to you.com. You'll see it in the chat. And um, then let's see. And there's Agneta's email. Mine is Andrea at Shopping for the Real You. And this has been fantastic, Agneta. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try to upload this to YouTube. I know that several of you were not able to join in the very beginning. And so hopefully in the next week, it'll be on my YouTube channel. So you can watch. Uh, and if you didn't catch the name of anything, if you watch it again, you may be able to write it down. And I think that's it. We have one minute left. So again, thank you, Agneta, first of all, 
to you for your knowledge, for your help. You've been such an extreme help to me, so kind and, and communicating so well. And um, I appreciate it so much. I'm very glad to help any of my viewers in a similar way. And I hope you join us again for future events. And um, stay healthy, stay well, stay calm, get some good sleep, and take good care.